Hello, everyone. Hey, Master Shadow. Hey, Vector Logic. Hey, Dr. Art. <coughs> Hello, Zula. Hello, Dragonoid Slayer. Welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. <coughs> hey, Big Mac. How am I? I'm dealing with some really bad chest pain right now. Did I see the new Pokemon? Yes, he's a good boy. Yeah, my chest is my chest is in pain this morning. I swear to God, it's just every day my body just feels more and more like it's shutting down. I need to see a doctor.
Hey, Dragonite. Amazing. This is not Paper Mario music, it's uh, Everhood music. Also makes me think her stomach is an entirely different sentient being. Right now it kinda is. It just does not, it does not like me right now.
Thank you for the subscription, Psychotic Sonic. Can't wait for Paper Mario Susie Star for the Nintendo PC. God, could you Im like, could you imagine a fucking paper RPG? I actually have like the paper RPG engine on Steam. Where is it? Uh, yeah, RPG Paper Maker. I actually have an engine to make, like, my own Paper Mario-esque, like, game, but... I have not ever looked into this, so I don't know what I would do with it or how to use it, but... I do have something that could allow me to do something like that, but... I don't know what I would even do with, like, a paper RPG. I guess I could do, like, the Doodles thing. Like, finally make Doodles into a video game. I suppose I could do that. Didn't think there was a thing to make paper style games. There is. It's the the, paper, the RPG paper maker. I have not done anything with it. I've never really looked into how to use it or what I can do with it, but yeah, it does exist. And I have it. I just haven't really looked into it. I've had it for a couple of years now, but I just haven't found any use for it. Is this just a small reference? It is. It is just a small reference. We're gonna have to upsize it a bit. Hey, Zinny. When I'm saying doodles, by the way, guys, I'm talking about, like, my old comic, not the, uh, AU doodles. I need to come up with, like, a better name for that, for, for that story in particular, because to keep having to make that distinction is kind of not ideal.
Retro Doodles. No, because I want to keep Doodles as is. I need to find like a better name for the AU Doodleverse. Hey, well...
You know, the the song says go man go, right? Like it's supposed to be go man go. But like what if what if it was actually supposed to be saying go mango? <laughs> Come on, go. Oh, that was supposed to be go, man, go. Go, man, go. Oh, did I not save that to the folder that it's supposed to be saved in? I did not. Yeah, it's supposed to 
supposed to go in it. Yeah, it's fucking... Nezzy was telling me not to do it. I did it anyway. <sighs> Alright. Oh, next one is very fitting to be drawing at this time of year. Hello, Emma.
Hello, Frog Test. Welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. I suppose I don't mind too much. I do appreciate you for asking though. Hey, Slayer. It's archaeology. It's so weird you still coming in here with Moo. Go Glo glove instead. I am just too used to you being called Moo Thing, and then you changed it on me. What even made you change from Moo Thing to to Sharkyology anyway? What what 
um, what spurred on the change. Because you like sharks, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Hey, girly wolf pup. Who did you come in on the Sonic music? Hey, did you know that that is my favorite aspect of Sonic games? Because otherwise, I'm really not a fan. <laughs> it's almost as if I mention that every fucking time. Dude, Sonic is consistently good with its, um, soundtrack. I don't know of any soundtrack of Sonic's that isn't good. I know some people will say, like, Forces, but Forces actually isn't too bad. I think I have, like, a couple Forces songs on, like, in this playlist. Chronicles? I haven't heard Chronicles. People point to Rise of Lyric as a game with a forgettable soundtrack, too. I haven't heard much of Rise of Lyrics. But I know some people have po pointed to Forces, because Forces apparently didn't have a particularly great soundtrack. But I listened to it. It seemed alright. Favorite Sonic soundtrack? Um, Heroes. You know, it's been it's been a bit since I last drew this character, and I think I think this has so far been my favorite iteration of this character being drawn.
I'm so glad that I I didn't even mean to time it the, like this. This was just unintentional, but it works. I, I love the fact that I was able to draw or to redesign this character during fucking Halloween. This was not planned, it was just kinda it just kinda worked. Looks like we're making doodle bones. No, um, I'm redesigning uh, an old character of mine called Sally. Sally is a little kid that likes to dress up. And her favorite costume to dress up in is uh, her little Grim Reaper costume. It's... <laughs> It's been a while since I've drawn her, but every time I draw her, like, it, it definitely gets closer to, to the idea. She's one of my, ch uh, she's one of my children characters. Sally Acorn is canon into the Doodleverse. No, her last name is, ha uh, Hallows. Because I'm... Not funny. Anyway. Is trick or treating a thing where you are? Uh, it wasn't the past couple of years. Might be this year, though. Halloween pun? Yeah. I'm not funny, though. She's not actually a Grim Reaper. She just dresses like one a lot. But yeah, Sally's one of my one of my children characters. I think I think Lorem contains most of my children characters. No. Lorem only contains the one. Okay, never mind. I don't know where all my I don't know where I put all my children characters then. Probably Warforgia, knowing my Knowing my uh, tendencies to place things.
It is the spooky month, you are correct. It's it's perfect that I'm drawing my my Halloween crazed character during spooky month. I don't think there could have been a, a better time to, to, to redraw her, to give her a glow up, or to redesign her entirely. Which is uh, not what I wound up doing. I wound up just giving her a bit of a glow up, but uh, that's, as I said, fine by me. It's still perfect timing to do that. Was not planned, but very appreciative. What other costumes does she like to wear? I don't think I've ever drawn her in another costume, but, um... I have thought about putting her in, like, a, a little bedsheet ghost. Uh, maybe a ninja. A knight. Um... A ghoul. With a little mask. Because the, 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 the thing with her is, like, I don't ever want to really draw her face. Um, so, so I try to, I try to draw her with a mask, regardless of where I put her, or something covering her face. So she wouldn't be, like, ever a vampire, or, a, like, a scarecrow, or stuff like that. She, she would just try to dress up in something that covers her face. Gonna make any costumes for Halloween IRL? Nah. I don't really do... I don't actually do Halloween that much anymore. Myself. The only thing that I do for Halloween is the... The tradition I'm going to keep this year, so... If you know, you know. Most of you should know. But some of you, some of you might not know. And if you don't know, well then you're in for a treat. Just as a scarecrow, she has a sack on her head. Eh, maybe. Always one card short, always one delay. Do not do the act and celebrate. Stack the deck ourselves so there's no one else to blame. It's one more move, one final chance to prove I can win this game. Alright. And Sally all dressed up for the, the festivities this year. 
Now we need to color it. Yeah, Halloween in a lot of places are kind of dead. COVID kind of fucked over a lot of a lot of the festivities. Mm, Sally, give me your candy and I'll take your soul. <laughs> or I'll take your soul. Yeah. Reaper. Yeah, she's one of the few children OCs that I have. She is definitely one to protect. I don't have too many children OCs. There's Sally. What a fucking glow up. Yeah, the first time I drew Sally was... Here? This was the first time I drew Sally? This was like 2015? 
Is the scythe real or fake? It's fake. It's plastic. Yeah, that was the first time I drew Sally, and now, now look at where she's, how, how far she's come. <laughs> She's come a long way to get to candy. Look, she's she's got her her priorities in check, frankly. That's right, Susie. You're not gonna get someone fucking cool. You're instead gonna have to deal with me. Hey, Abby. <clears throat> this is where my- yes. Dude, it's getting, getting cold. I know. I have my jacket on already. Yeah, I have to go to fucking work in like 20 minutes. <sighs> so, what are you up to today, Susie? I'm just redesigning some characters or giving them glow ups. Uh, I just finished um, the reference to the new reference for my kid. For one of my children OCs, uh, Sally, she, uh, the, the gimmick surrounding her is that she's, she tends to dress up in, like, costumes and really likes Halloween, stuff like that, which I think is the perfect, this is the perfect time to redesign her. Nice. Perfect time to, to update her reference. God, fuck, cold. Um, I got through... Hold on. 19 episodes yesterday. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Yeah, dude, once you know how to skip optimally, it's it's the best. <sighs> Cause like I'm sure you've wa you've watched One Piece. You know that there's like a flashback in at least every episode. In mm -hmm. some way, shape, or form. Um, so if you skip those you can cut an 18 minute episode down to like 14 minutes. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. And then if you, it, 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 you can also do the cool thing where you, if you don't give a shit about someone's backstory, you can skip it. Uh, and I did that yesterday with Big Mom because um, I don't fucking care about Big Mom's backstory. <laughs> She's the lamest emperor by a large margin. It did give us okay. like the coolest fucking moment ever with Jimbei though. Cause what is it? Big mom can steal your, your lifespan if you're afraid to die. And then she's like, well, Jimbei, I'm going to steal your soul now. And he's like, okay. And then she starts trying to steal his soul, but he's not afraid. And he just sits there. And he's like, I'm going to be on the King of the Pirates crew. I can't be scared of some bitch-ass Emperor of the Seas. <laughs> You're not shit. <laughs> and they're like, oh god. Everyone in the crowd's like, yo, what a fucking badass. <laughs> Holy shit, Jimmy. Really, the only person that that sounds like it has any power over is like, Chopper. Usopp. Um, yeah, Usopp. And well, no. Ever since maybe... Usopp became a god, he's not afraid to die anymore. Mm. So <laughs> now that we have Chopper. Goji Usopp. Yeah, Chopper is, um... Chopper is here and afraid of death. Yeah, then he would be the only one. Also Nami. Maybe Nami. I could maybe see Nami being afraid to die. But yeah. still, like, you that doesn't who's... sound like it... It doesn't sound like it's a too powerful move. How did she become an emperor? Um, because every other person ever is afraid of death. Fair 
Fair enough, also, I guess. because she can, like, when she takes someone's soul, she can redistribute it. So she has an entire Alice in Wonderland fucking kingdom of, like, sentient trees. She's also got, I believe, like, a hundred some odd kids who all have devil fruits. I see. Yeah, there's a lot. Big Mom had a lot of sex. <laughs> also, she's trying to destroy Germa. Okay. G Germa's public enemy number one. <laughs> Okay. It's listen, man. I can't get over the fact that they literally named a fucking place and a group Germa. Yeah, no. Big Mom had like a three episode backstory, and Bruce was like, "Do you want to watch it?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Wait, no. I asked him summarize it in two words for me. He said child trafficking, and I'm like, "All right." Why is it always child trafficking? Or just trafficking in general with Oda? Um, I would imagine because one, uh, it's really easy to imagine there being a lot of trafficking in a world fucking full of pirates. Um, True. And two, uh, it's... Maybe it's something that he, I wouldn't say had experience with, but maybe it's something he was somewhat close to. Oh, you know what it is? I know what mm. it is. Um, Oda has the same attitude on child traffickers as Araki has on people who kill dogs. Because, like, I can think of four instances where... Araki has written a character who kills a dog on screen and yeah. people ask like what do you have against dogs Araki and he's like I love dogs I'm trying to show that this guy's so evil he would kill a dog and it's like oh these people are so evil they'll traffic children Uh. Also, I'm really glad there's a distinction in in um, One Piece between giants like the race and the weird freaks who just so happen to be 15 feet tall. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't know if you ever saw how tall Whitebeard is, but, like, Akainu is like seven feet tall. He's pretty big. Like he's looking down at Luffy the whole time, and he's like I think the third a, si a third the size of Whitebeard. <laughs> Whitebeard was gigantic. It's it's like that one post on Twitter that I saw where it's like uh, it it, it was like uh, Luffy and it was a small like. Yeah, small man. Uh, like a, like a little, like, yeah, a little small, like, uh, I don't know if it was Kanji or what, but, like, yeah. <laughs> a small little character that looked like a dude. It was a small little character that looked, uh, that look, uh, looked like a little stick man. And then it's like, uh, who Luffy is going up against, and it is just a full on, like, uh, a full-on emoticon of just a really, really big stick man. Yep. Yep. I'm I'm a real big fan of the final battle of Zoe, um, which was 
the a bunch of pirates were like, we're gonna kill the elephant. Yeah, fuck you. And then the elephant's like, hey guys, can I kill these guys? And Momonosuke is like, sure, man. And then the elephant kills all those guys. <laughs> That's just what happened. There's no fight in Zo. They just show up, have a banquet, get explained the plot, have a second banquet, get the road poneglyph, and then kill a bunch of dudes with an elephant. <laughs> oh god, and then Carrot shows up, and Carrot is fantastic. Yeah, you've told me about Carrot. Yeah, she's great. Dude, I'll- Susie, I need you- I need- I need you to fucking- I need you to go into the Cloud Palace at some point and post a picture of the fucking- the lady from Chowder, I forgot what her name is, and be like, mm -hmm. man, this One Piece villain's crazy, and then like, censor the image. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to do it because Keyblade has me blocked on Discord. Oh no, I asked him to do that, by the way. I don't want to fucking get that twisted. Yeah, fair enough. Because I posted a pic- I, I posted a picture of Carrot in the chat, and he came to me on- on Twitter and was like, Can you not? And I'm like, block me on Discord. What would you do if you had a devil fruit that gave you the ability to manipulate linguistics? Um, the know. speak, speak fruit. Um, I would make it so that every single person on the planet has to say the word penis six times a day, and they have to say the word badass 420 times a day. <laughs> Common crouching idiot W. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, like, what that would, what a, a fruit like that would even entail. So. Is it being able to manipulate the concept of language on mass? I if don't so, know. That'd be neat. I'd love to, I'd love to make English not a language anymore. We'll all speak Hebrew. <laughs> you bitches. No! I hate Kaden. What? What happened? Uh, he just put a meme in the wrong chat. Oh. Girly Wolf Up was just like, I'd love to make English not a language anymore, but wasn't that a villain in Metal Gear Solid 5's plan? Yeah. Skull phase. Okay, the user can manipulate the linguistics of words and terms through the aspects of the words or terms form, meaning, or in context. They can manipulate the way that they are spoken, the way that they are defined, and the way that they are used. The user can control the words or term letter by letter and can have reality affecting change. I... That seems a little too powerful. Also, you can, like, say words and then the letters will explode. Remember that bit from Superstar Saga where, th where they stole Peach's voice and replaced it with bombs? No. Oh. I've, uh, I don't think, I've, I've never played any of the Mario or Luigi, like, or Mario oh, and Luigi RPGs. Oh my god, those would be your favorites. They're like, well, okay, how do you feel about Paper Mario action commands? I feel okay about them. So, in Mario and Luigi... It's everything has an action command, but it's not like, oh, just press A and then the. It's like with the. Well, okay, jumping is the same. You press A when you hit your the, the purse, the, the dude, and then you get a second jump if you time it well enough. Um, and then hammer 
doesn't function um it's not the hold a direction and then let go it's um wait for the little shine on your hammer as he's winding up and then hit um but special moves are all like fucking all right so you gotta like mash a and then mash b and then aim the thing and then press a and b at the same time or like uh mash a repeatedly then mash b then mash a again uh repeat until the attack ends uh like they're all all, all of the attacks almost feel like Mario Party esque mini games. I see. It it and and dodging enemy attacks is the same way. It's it's way easier to take zero damage in Mario and Luigi than it is to take zero damage in uh, Paper Mario. A Doctor Who villain can do that. Oh, with the language thing. Uh, I don't remember mm. that, but. It has been a while since I've watched Doctor Who, so... Edies. What Edies? Unless it was a Peter Capaldi era, uh, Who villain, or a Matt Smith Who villain, in which case I just... Maybe that's why I don't remember it, because I straight up did not like those eras enough to keep watching. And what Edies? He's what Edies. <laughs> oh shit, the new fucking Chainsaw Man chapter's out? Let's fucking go. You killed a bunch of people. Not that many. Only three or four. Oh, uh, did you... Were you... You weren't there for... Um... For the... For the moment on stream, but did you see it afterwards where, like... Fucking... Nezzy, uh... Nezzy was telling me not to, like... Break out of bounds, but I did it anyway. You showed me the video. Yeah. Okay, right, right, right. Um, <laughs> I just like how Nezzy described it after the fact as like, uh, everything worked out alright. I, 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 uh, put out the fire, but you're the one that started the fire. But I put it out. <laughs> That's effectively what that was. I'm personally more a fan of, um, I put the fires out. You made them worse. Worse? Or better? <laughs> Fucking that- that show is too good. A little too good. What show is that? Invader Zoom. Oh. Oh! It, oh wow, I have- I did not remember that bit. At all. Bitches surprised Doctor Who is coming to Disney Plus when I was there back when Doctor Who was airing on Disney XD for a year. Yeah. Uh, I loved Ellie a couple days ago. I was like, Avi, don't don't you want to take like an allergy pill or something? I'm like, no. She's like, why? I'm like, because it's me. Why would I do that? Who's this character? Um, this is one of my monster collection. Uh, this is Trixie. She is the monster under the bed. <coughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<coughs> Excuse me. I see you found another another character that you like, huh? Uh, girly wolf pup. Easy. Oh. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> Where's Heaton? Finder. So I I rarely hang out with with Eden. I rarely like know where she's at at any given time. I don't fucking know. I was more asking like the universe. Fair so enough. I just DM'd her because I just read the new Chainsaw Man chapter and like yeah I think. Have I seen Linlin's newest video? No. Wow, isn't it crazy how Linlin is also the first name of Big Mom? I'm not trying to imply anything. However, what I will say is that it's an unfortunate shortening of Lindata. What is, what is Lynn's new video about? It's not about Pokemon, I'm not interested. You're just looking for a reaction? Okay. Keep making characters that are visually appealing to you. How do I do it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, don't girly wolf pup. Maybe you're just easy. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Oh, God. What, what, what did he change his name to? Wait, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, so Musha's been watching One Piece. Yeah, yeah. I saw. Oh, <laughs> dude, fucking... That man yesterday was like, you know, I'm a really big fan of how instead of taking the two Ds you have in your name and making one of those the D, you instead just added a D like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, man. Hidden D bonsai. God, no. Why does that sound like it's a... I beat him the buns, I... I hate living. Uh, what in the... F Is there a jackhammer on our roof? I'm not just stoned. What the fuck? This is wacky. I feel like I'm in a goddamn video game trying my best to complete a stage. All the while, I'm still collecting coins. And speaking of collecting coins, I gotta go to work in a little bit. Which is... Mm. <sighs> you know what I need to do, Susie? I need to do a CP University One Piece video for the Cloud Palace, but only for the people who don't want to watch One Piece. So, like, I'm, I'll do it for you, Ellie, Yoon, if Yoon wants. Um, Buggy Boy. 
<coughs> Luxter. That's enough people. Um. <laughs> Wait, Susie, did I tell you about me and Bruce being on the political far right? What? When we were walking around my house. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah, you told me about yeah, that. So funny. <laughs> the fucking Tucker Carlson. The, the fucking woke liberals to try to convince us the One Piece isn't real. Oh, man. I'm so sorry I started watching One Piece. I'm re I apologize to everyone. This is This has been awful. <laughs> also, um, hey Susie, I entered uh, the open bracket for uh, in 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 uh, the hilarious and cool Sayjam server. And okay. so you know how like, um, excuse me, um. You know how like the uh, like the beginners bracket is like sixty four people. Okay. This one's seventeen. Oh, it's much smaller. Small man. And I've, uh, I've, 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 I've still been doing all right. I've been doing okay ever, e even since my fucking crushing victory where I got third place. Um, but it's fine. I didn't even want to get first place. That's not a joke. I didn't want it. It was Simcha's Torah. I had a place to be. Are you, are you still the, the local celebrity around there? Um... Well, I'm now an, a member of BAN, and that's not to say I got banned. Therefore, I mean, I asked, can I, there's a bracket called Bracket About Nothing. And I'm like, hey, mm -hmm. can I, because they, they, one of them, their, their big dudes invited me in to just kind of hang around, be a guy. Um, Cause it's a, it's a beginner's bracket primarily. And I was already like way, way past what they were looking for for that. So, um, they're like, hey, do you want to just come in and just kind of like pal around? And I'm like, sure, man, no problem. Um, and they just recently were like, oh, we're going to do open bracket here. And I'm like, fucking ace. Because <laughs> everyone in ban are just dudes who graduated from Weeb Cup Beginners. So it's just going to be Weeb Cup Beginners too. All, it's gonna be Weeb Cup Beginners All Stars. That's just what it is. I'm so hyped. Have you watched I Think You Should Leave? No, I have not. I need to do that. All right. Well, because it is just about eight thirty, I must go. My planet needs it, and the planet okay. is the planet of old people. Bye, and okay. Later.
<sighs> All right. Now let's get her palette real quick. Cause... Actually, I might want to darken the palette a little bit on the skin tone area. No. A little bit lighter. Yeah, that's closer to what it was before. Little werewolf girl? Nope, she's the monster under the bed. I actually do not have a werewolf character. Under, any bed, under your bed anytime you thank her. Jesus. Monster under the bed, kind of unexpected. Yeah, actually, uh, for my monster, my monster collection, Trixie was one of the first that I made. Um, and I went with uh, went with monster under a bed instead of werewolf. I don't have a werewolf character, but I did think about making one to kind of complete the rest of my monster collection. <sighs> Thing is, is I don't know. What else that I'm missing other than a werewolf? Kind of makes you think the monsters from where the wild things are. Yeah, that was kind of the idea. It was, uh, it was Where the Wild Things Are and Bugaboo from s fucking Scary Godmother that, like, inspired this character. Do you remember Bugaboo? And there's the new Trixie reference. She's fluffier than she was in the previous reference. And I'm glad that I did that. Because I, I really wanted her to be fluffier. Right, Monsters, Inc. was another one. I almost forgot about Monsters, Inc. That's why, that's why Trixie is blue. Hey, comic kid.
This is like the fifth or sixth doodle I was obsessed over. I mean, I've got 300, girly wolf pup. You're bound to find something that you like. In fairness. I can't be, like... For me to flip a coin 300 times, and for me to never land on someone likes a character of mine is statistically impossible. So... Alright, <clears throat> and now we save Trixie's new reference. Alright, uh, do I have time to do another one? I've already done three, so that's probably n no. Jasmine, Naomi, Fiona, April, Trixie. Am I forgetting anyone? Um... No, I think it's those... I think it's just those five. Unless there was another one that I don't... I don't remember. I mean, I guess you like the little ninja... The little ninja girl that I, uh, I threw together. Dorito pants thing with Jasmine. I don't know. Ninja Babe needs a name. Yeah, I'll come up with a name for her later once I can figure out where I'm gonna put her. Yeah, by the looks of it, I don't really have that much more time, uh, to do another reference. Because the next one I gotta do is... Oh god, it's Sabrina. Oh, dear lord. Uh, I'm not prepared to do Sabrina. Uh, that one's gonna take a bit. I will, I will worry about that later. Uh, for now, though, I'm gonna go ahead and call that the end of the stream. Um, yeah, we got a, we got a new reference for, for Mo, a new reference for Sally, and a new reference for Trixie. I think, I think progress is coming along nicely. Um, so yeah, later guys.